And we're back. Let's play some Karam. This is the final game of the Golden Goblet. First, 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 third, first, third. It's not that bad. Karam. So what's Karam? Karam is pool, but you flick checkers. So the whole point of the game. No, this is not. Let, I'll tell you. Probably learn how to aim first. <laughs> Forgot how to aim. Yo, that was an incredible shot. Um, we aim with the D-pad. Oh, it's it's R and L. That's right. Um, so you try to flick these checkers into the pockets, but there's a lot more friction on on wood than there is on felt. So you got to be a little careful. Um, so you try to flick these checkers into the hole. Um, and if you succeed, you win. If you get the most checkers in the hole. Actually, I think it's if you get your checkers in the hole first. This is not a good approximation of my Karam ability, I promise you that. But the AI is also bad, thankfully. You know what? Just give him one of these. We ready? We're not ready. I, I have a... I'll tell you straight up, Karam is actually one of my favorite games in the, uh, in the pack. Not a lot of people seem to love it, though. I fought for Karam. I fought for Richie Mahjong too, but you know, you gotta pick your battles in this world. Let's try this one. Dude, I'm I'm stinking it up. This is an embarrassment. At least they're also bad, but I used to be like a lot better than this. This I'm glad we're taking a warm-up round. So this is a gimme. Let's run the table. Pocket. I don't know the trick. I don't know if there is a trick to Karam, or if you just like just play well forehead. Oh! <laughs> um, I know that with the red checker, it's worth more points. I guess it's a point-based system, but to sink the you, you need to sink the red. You need to sink another one right after it in order to get the points. I don't really understand it fully, and that's okay. Um, basically, sink the checkers, and you'll have a very good chance of winning. Okay, Eric, you get to go first. I don't envy you, because I'm about to run the table. KK Slider. Got some good movement. Can't deny that. He got some good movement. Actually didn't give me that many great shots, quite frankly. I feel like that's not going in. But, I mean, we have to hit it at some point, you know what I mean? So for now... Just try something like that. Aim low here. It's gonna be a long game. This is a is this is not your instantaneous games. Hit this with a three piece. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. From this point onwards, things become a little touchier. Here's what I'm thinking. Yeet. That helped essentially zero. Now take a break, because he's going to sing some of his own. Best of luck to you, Eric, in the in the sport of kings. I think he, he was a little hasty on that one, and I'll take it. So, can we... Is there any angle on this one? Not at all. I um, almost feel like... We almost sank one. Um... It's still touchy, but we got a little bit of clearance now. I think we're a lot better off as a result. That that should work. Yeah, that should work. He's got a couple of easy ones. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I, his board is is set up fairly nicely. Let's see what he's got going on. My, my board, just by virtue of the break earlier, was like a little spotty. Fair play. Fair play, Eric. Well done. Eric is going to go for the combination shot. It's a high-risk maneuver. Right now, I'd say he's a little off. But he gave himself actually a pretty good shot for next time. So now the, the, the checker is in our court. I think step one, you'd really like to just... Okay, we're going to run out of time before we can do that. Good shot. <laughs> 
Right, we're gonna save that red checker, because I, I don't think we can sink it yet, but we might have a situation where we could sink it after this, and this would be worth a ton of points. See, that's great stuff. And then you would follow it up with sinking the red checker. This is really for all the marbles right here. Not this shot, but the shot that follows, because that was a given. Now, admittedly, we screwed it up, because we hit our own checker and kind of screwed it up. Which is, is not great. Um, in fact, it's actually like really bad. Smash it. Oh! That hurt me. That hurt me. Just because the physics, we should have shot the red checker a little lighter. I don't think we had a cleaner shot on that one, though. All right, so Eric, you're going to take the gimme. I can't blame you for taking the gimme. Don't get me wrong. It's a close game. It's a close game of carom. It's what the people want to see. It's a long shot. Not a difficult shot, but a long shot. I think that's a little high. Eh, I'd say he's got it now. He's probably got it now. Good shot. Okay. Um, probably looking at that uh, top left corner is going to get some action would be my guess. How you playing this one, brother? Oh. You know, I, I think he's a little to the right on that one, but I, I wish you the best. What a shot. Are you kidding me? Eric. Eric takes the lead, five checkers to four. And we're gonna have to like run the table. I think we're about to be embarrassed. But he's not gonna run the table because he's got that one in the middle. And that's, uh, that's a problem. He's also got these two that are a little touchy. If you could just free, oh, that one's not touchy at all. If you could please free my own uh, checker, that would be amazing. But, like, the carom embarrassment is, is definitely happening right now. This would be a huge miss. I mean, he's... I thought he had it, um, quite frankly. But we still can't sneak by there, huh? That's messy. That's a messy situation. So messy, we freaking uh, nicknamed it Lionel. So we know this is a given, but smash it. Try to get enough movement to hit another piece. Clearly, that's not working. Um... What do you think about this? All right, we got real issues. <laughs> Namely, by the way, that's team fight tactics in the background. Don't get any ideas. Um, they get to move the piece. Smash it. We got a little movement. We got a little movement. I would still say this is a dangerous situation, but with perfect play, we might be able to pull out the dub today. He's going for the checker cover. Are you insane? He's he's mad. He's lost his mind. He's lost his mind. The man has lost his mind. He can't be He can't be trusted any longer. I think he's actually going to win. All he needs to do is Oh, if you pocket all your coins without pocketing the queen, you'll lose the game. Eric. Eric, you're going to lose the game. You're going to get in trouble. <sighs> Bruh. Okay. Well, here's what I'm thinking. What if I pocket the queen myself, Eric? Would that bother you? Well, it's been fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. That's uh, heartbreaking. This is the most heartbreaking loss in Karam I've ever experienced, to be quite frank with you. This would be a great time for him to miss this one, but I don't see that happening. Well played. It hurts. Eric, are you down? We'll take the L for today. But Eric, are you down for a rematch? Would you be interested in playing one more game of Karim with me? I do feel like two things happen. I mean, the the whiff on the... Uh, he's, he wants to play. Let's go. The whiff on the red piece was inexcusable. All I would ask is, uh, I wonder the last time they sanded this board. It was probably a long time ago, is my guess. Um, and then the second question, or the second whiff... See, that's how you break them up, Eric. The second inexcusable thing... Well, it's not really my fault. It's just the way that the game shook out. But the second thing is... Uh, 
I think my board was just kind of cursed from the start, but I might be a little bit biased. I didn't really look at his pieces that much. But I'll tell you, I mean, we get we still took four wins out of seven days, and one of the games was a four-player game. So I feel pretty solid about that. Um, but the, the Karam win would have been the icing on the cake, dude. It would have given us a much better chance. Okay. So this is a fairly easy one. Let's not call it a given. Beautiful, delicate. Dunk -dunk 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 Still just team fight tactics. This is an easy one. In some ways. And in some ways it's not. I do here's the thing. He sinks that. Next time I get a chance to shoot, I sink my own. So I'm not too concerned. Um, but that, you know, maybe Karim's not my game. Maybe billiards is my game. Karim is uh can you do that? You can hit my piece first and it's not a foul. Oh my god. We could have been playing like that the whole time. It's makeable, brother. Smash the crap out of it. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? They're, they need to simulate this right here. They need a they need a, a 10. You got to be able to go 10 on it. That's that's not I'm going to do it, brother. I'm going to tell you straight up. That's not going to do it. How about this one? Are we finally going to be able to sink the mythical Karam checker? Oh, oh! I'm on a new level. Now this is a little messy. Wonder if they could bounce it off the checker and in the into the pipe. Nope. But I can leave myself teetering on the edge. That's a little better. That's a little better. It's a good shot. I mean, Karam, it's it's smaller than a pool table, but you know, in real life, you don't know what you're doing when you do that. You know, it's not easy. It's not consistent. You gotta, you, you know, there's a lot of variance. But in this game, you got like a laser beam. It's all right. This is this is for my own personal redemption. I gotta be honest, brother. I don't think that's making it. Never mind. It was straight in. It was like it got sucked into a black hole. This would be a heck of a shot. You, you, you got my support. That's incredible. Honestly, like, it's incredible. I didn't realize your monitor was like a piece of graph paper, and it's got lines everywhere, so you can, you know, uh, I don't want to say cheat, but let's say, you know, abuse outside mechanics to improve your odds of success. But it doesn't matter. I'm looking at this board. I don't, I don't see myself missing another shot, so you better just... You better just sink them, because uh, otherwise you're in a lot of trouble, my friend. You're in a lot of trouble. Probably start with a uh, little bit of this. Ooh. All right, I don't know what to shoot next. The, the, the queen would be positive, but our, our checker's too large. Our checker's too large, and I'll just leave it at that. I think if you really crack on this thing, it's probably the greatest shot in Karam history. So I, I got ideas here. And you paid online, by the way. Uh, I think we're about to have a communication error. Apparently not. Apparently not. Apparently we're back. Okay. I mean, I feel like I should get a little bit more time because 90% of my time was swallowed by uh, packet loss, but that's okay. Clearly, the clock still works in real time. Starbucks Wi-Fi, dude. Probably the most frustrating experience I've had playing this game in my entire life. Quite frankly, um, <laughs> straight.
trying to shoot it. I pulled back all the way and let go. And then it was like, oh, you want to stop then? And I was like, no, just send it. And then it was like, boop. Cool. Cool, cool stuff. Whatever. It's casual. It's a casual game for casual people. Eric, I'm assuming, is dealing with the same situation right now. In which case, I mean him no ill will. But I'm going to tell you, Eric. That doesn't look right. That one's going to miss. Tighten up the, the angles on level 3. Eric, if you want to rage quit this one, I wouldn't be upset. The packet loss is absurd. Best of luck to you. It was a bit surprising. Um, let's let's leave it at that. Look at the smoothness of the movement. You can tell one to one. He's he's exactly where he wants to be. I thought you had to have broadband to, to play online games in, in the new... I'm not insulting Eric. I'm insulting the Nintendo netcode, okay? Hey, he's gonna get the queen there. Oh. Oof. 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 Alright. Now the ultimate test. With 20 seconds. Can we... Actually get a shot off? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Okay, pocket one of my coins to cover. I'm here to tell you, this will not be difficult. Really, in a game with, like, you need fine aiming control, it's pretty annoying. There you go. The queen has been covered. The queen has been covered. lining it up. Gotta be honest, that looks pretty good to me. Oh! Like a laser beam. I think we still lose if he sinks all of his first. Which might sound like insanity. But I, I genuinely think it's true. Let's see. Let's see, Eric. This is our this is our best of uh, well, it's not really a best of three, is it? Because I'm just gonna leave after this one regardless. But um, if you win, you take it. It's not quite it's not quite perfect, but I guess if that's all you if you just want it to be good enough, then congrats, you did it or something. This is a tough shot. You need to go on about power level 500 for this, but. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm in a better position, quite frankly. And he could definitely sink his. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Dunk, 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 dunk. Smash it. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody beats me twice in Karam. Nobody beats me twice in Karam. Eric, unfortunately, we're playing by a new rule set. Last winner is the ultimate winner. Better luck next time, brother. Well, we took an L today, but it was a fun game regardless. I love clubhouse games. The great thing about uh, a seven-piece Golden Goblet is we got 44 games that remain untouched. One day, I'm going to convince these guys to play Richie Mahjong. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It was a really fun Golden Goblet to record. Go to goldengoblet.net to see how everybody did and see who got the ultimate trophy. I mean, with five wins... With four wins, we gotta have a pretty decent chance of being in there. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!